Hi so um, my name is Warren aka Biker Wazza. Um been wanting to do a review on my Sherpa for some time now. Um, it's clocked just over 25,000 miles so uh, I thought it might be good um, to do a review with uh, you know for people who want to see what it's like after quite a few miles. Now to be fair um, it's had um, another set of wheels but um, I replaced those after about 16,000 they did actually have an, another few thousand miles on there probably up to maybe 20,000 but I was going on a tour so I was just being super careful <coughs> um, but anyway I've uh, from the very start I wrote down all um, my information on what I replaced so if any comments you want to ask me um, I got the bike back in July um, 2012 um, so yeah it's uh, coming up nine years now um, as I say uh, the first set of wheels was amazing um, they were Dior hubs, uh, standard Dior hubs, and um, they stayed true the whole time. And the rims were um, Regida Grizzly at the time, they changed their name. Um, when I got the new set of wheels, um, I saw that they were slightly different anyway. Um, not sure whether it was my fault for not asking for the correct ones, um, but anyway. SJS and um, Thorn have been absolutely amazing over the um, whole time I've had the bike. Any queries, they've been fantastic. I uh, I first went down. Let's, let's start from the beginning, really. I first went down to uh, St John Street Cycles, SJS Cycles, and uh, booked an appointment just for sort of like a. a well, it was sort of like a fitting and to see what I liked about the bike and if I didn't like it, blah, blah, blah. So I cycled down there and uh, and uh, sort of had my appointment and, uh, yeah, no pressure whatsoever. Um, in fact, they were sort of a little bit surprised that I was keen to go ahead with it. And, you know, I ended up sort of having a chat with Andy and, you know, in the uh, the office, you know, like we're just two bike nerds, it was it was kind of cool. Um, so yeah, um, and after sale service has been second to none. Um, so what I've I've been on a f several tours. You can see it on my website, um, AdamsBikes.co.uk. I've got a blog on there. I've only put a couple of them on there. So I've used this for thousands of miles down through France and Spain various different trips so it's taken taken me quite a few places quite a few thousand miles well 25,000 more um, so yeah it is a bit of a triggers broom in it's, it's kind of got uh, the new wheels on it, it um, it's it started off with a uh, Dior um, all throughout so rear uh, derailleur Dior that didn't actually go wrong uh, I just uh, found a XT so I put that on, and um, the front derailleur, Dior, that's been good the whole time, S still super slick. I mean, I change the cables every other year, and sometimes more. Have had a couple of shifters go, but one of the, uh, it's kind of the reason now I change my cables more often because sometimes they snap inside the shifter, and then you, you, it screws the shifter up. <clears throat> Our tyres I got on there are dreams and these are just amazing i don't think you can find them anymore i've got some spare ones for if when when these wear out but these have been great um haven't had a puncher in five thousand miles touch wood um so yeah i i went with um i started off with 1.75 tires and um, panaracer um tires but I just found that because I wanted to go off-road a little bit, you know, 
I just wanted some more voluminous tyres and something a bit more bomb proof so um, yeah so I went for these so obviously I had to upgrade the widen the um, mud guards. I also started off with um, as you can see I've got Thorns um, rack on the front there amazing a amazing just the best front rack I think you can get bomb proof I reckon I could I don't know I, I, I don't know what the weight limit is of it but it's it stood me really well um, the rear one I, I got the thorn one but um, I didn't like it because for one it didn't have the um, the back part um, like there and also it didn't have the double rail so um, I thought it was important to have that double rail so that I could um, put the tent on the top and then the panniers lower so that you know when you want to unstrap the tent it's not all mingled up with everything else so this is a Tortec um, I'm not sure on the name of it but it's 35 kilos uh, rated I've had more and more than that on it. Um, yeah, if you're interested in some of the other little bits, I didn't want to go into sort of too much of the sort of sundries. Um, but uh, this thing on the back is obviously uh, the uh, lollipop thing that give tell drivers to give me more space. This is a uh, um, movement sensor alarm, really good. It's remote control. Uh, this is just inner tubes uh, and inner tubes spare. That's an old alarm that I still keep on there because um, it says alarm. <coughs> um, yeah, really good Blackburn um, top bag. Um, great that I've got the three uh, water bottle holder carriers because uh, I put tools in the bottom. Um, yeah, that's been great. Um, I did actually um, get a stronger bottle carrier for the bottom because just in case it get, gets hit. Um, yeah, and I got a, uh, a little, uh, what it's called now, a, a sort of a tool cage um, box that sort of looks like a water bottle, so that's really good. Um, uh, after a while, I was, because I, I have a um, handlebar bag, and I wanted to put like lights on, so you can see I've got a light thing on the front there, you can get that from SJS as well, that goes in the front fork, but I really wanted like to do some night riding and all that so I just wanted like loads of torches so again from SGS I got this um, uh, this bar um, and that um, lines up exactly below my um, handlebar bag um, as far as handlebars goes I've got um, Tioga uh, riser bars now um, Thorn do a similar one, like, like a comfort bar. Um, I think they're a bit more expensive. This is Ali, um, and that's been great. I started off with these sort of ridiculous uh, comfort bars, um, you know, the sort of butterfly type. And Andy sort of uh, at Thorn sort of said that's a stupid idea, or not to those exact words. Um, but I was, what, what I wanted was two different sort of positions for, for like my back and wrist, whatever. You know, I'm, you know, I'm 50 now. God damn it. Um, so instead, what I did, I went for a geometry that was like it, between those two, and put these sort of um, like comfort grips on. So like ergo grips, where you've got the you can sort of sort of move your position. Um, spinated or super spinated whichever way around it is so I, th I find that's enough not only that getting that midpoint between the high point on the um, comfort bars or whatever you call them touring bars and the low point so I've gone right in the middle and uh, finding that sweet spot was really important um, so yeah uh, one other thing that I should sort of mention is that uh, I'm not sure if it's still the same, but Thorn have a a guarantee for their frames. I'm not sure if it's still standing. So um, unless you put a, um, a bike stand on it, 
So I wanted to have a stand, but I thought, well, I won't. I'll go along with their idea and not put one on. So I started looking at options, and there was this sort of idea called a click stand. You can, you can put that into Google. Um, but they were asking like 35 bucks, euros, whatever, Bitcoin. Um, so I thought I'd try and make something myself. That's what I did. I, I believe you can see it's standing up on, um, standing against, there's two bits of cane, and I've, uh, I've strengthened up a bit by winding tape uh, round it one way and then the other and uh, they both separate and click into a little bit of plastic and that once it, if it's balanced right that, that holds it fine but you do have to have um, like what I call the handbrakes on which is I, I just use it um, cut up bits of um, inner tube and uh, you can see that there and that stops the bike going backwards and forwards so that's um, that's that. Um, as far as saddles go, this is a Surface Men's E Gel. Um, I think they're about 25, 30 quid. Uh, didn't get on with any of the Brooks ones. <clears throat> that has been amazing. But as Andy says, he doesn't want. They don't um, thorn. They don't try and sell you the um, Brooks. They say if you find a saddle you're happy with, buy five of them before they go out of. And commission whatever so that one's been fantastic for me yeah and to let you know again that I've used this for everything this is my touring bike thousands of miles my shopping bike I load it up I mean I've got beer wine shopping potatoes you know everything and it's also my work bike um, which I carry all my tools on um, fully laden, it's uh, around about 45 kilos, uh, pretty, which is pretty much what my touring weight is. Um, but with uh, with my tools on, and I have a bike stand that I carry on the other side. It's a little, you know, it's a little bit different on the balance, and that sort of says a lot for that Tortec rack because I think it's an expedition rack. I'm not sure, um, but yes, yeah, the only one that has 35 kilo weight on it. But you know, I strapped the stand to it on the other side, and that's taken some abuse. I mean, I, I can't say enough good things about that that rack. It's it's really fantastic. So yeah, that pretty much um, wraps it up. Um, I could say maybe um, about pedals. I've just gone for Wellgo DV8 copies, um, or sorry, V8 copies. Uh, you know, they get plenty of mileage out of those. Um, any other questions, um, feel free.